Hey guys, welcome to day one. We are in for a fun few days. In fact, we have got kids logging in from all around the country. And as you can see, this is where I'll be, on the computer answering your questions when you're in the kitchen busy cooking. So, we've got two kids doing this by themselves, some of you are cooking with friends, some of you have your nana with you, others have your mum, your dad or big cousin. So whoever you are, wherever you are, whoever you are with, you are also with me and all the other kids on the program. Now, the big thing about these few days is all about joining in and talking to me. In fact, the more you share, the more we learn and the more likely you are to win some prizes. To recap, the plan is, number one, you should be sorted with the recipes you are cooking for dinner tonight. And if not, take a look into my super cool cookbook and help yourself get sorted. In fact, tonight's all about getting sorted. And number two, there are four challenges I am going to set for you. The big one is tonight is design a dinner. So whatever you're cooking for dinner, go over the top, but there'll be more details on that later. We also have an arty and research stuff for you to jump into as well. Design your dinner, over the top, table setting. Okay, this is a real impress the people you are cooking for sort of thing. Sometimes the occasion of eating is just as important as the food that you are eating as well. And today you are creating a real occasion. So, using the food that you already decided to cook for dinner tonight, I want you to present it in a way that is really memorable. We would like to see your over the top themed dinner. What are you into and what do you have available? You don't need to spend any money, in fact the best props will be just under your nose. So, whether you like the all blacks or your lego crazy, you see red, or go cowboys, or you're just oh so 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 elegant, let your imagination run wild and have fun. Now Kiwis absolutely love potatoes, in fact our little fact of the day is that potatoes are the world's third biggest food crop, just behind rice and wheat. And just about every culture has a special potato recipe. You can make a different dish from a different country. You can travel the world one recipe at a time. And you don't even need an airplane. Foodie tip of the day, try new foods. Don't be boring. By eating a wide range of foods, your body gets everything that it needs. A little of lots is a great motto. So always give foods you haven't tried a chance. You might be surprised. Research and report. New to you challenge. Now get your thinking cap on, it's time for a bit of an investigation. There are bound to be lots of favourite foods just out there waiting for you to discover. Like a tamarillo, a yam or a pomegranate. Most of these you may not even have heard of before. And some of them, like the mushroom, you may have but just have never tried. So here's what you do. Go to the supermarket or the fruit and vegetable store and select a fruit or vegetable that is new to you. It doesn't mean that it's not new to the nation, it just means it's something you haven't tried before. So, in fact, if you can't do that, there may even be a, a few foods in your pantry that you haven't plucked up the courage to try. So, be brave. Now, research on how to prepare it. You could ask your family or friends, the person in the shop, Google it or whatever. And then cook it and eat it. And comment on it on Share With Us what you have done. Now for my safety tip of the day. Because I don't want any burns, and I also don't want to sound like your mother, it's important to please, please, please turn the pot handles in and keep them away from the edge of the stove. It's so easy to knock hot food if you don't, which is dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. But make sure you watch my Better Safe Than Sorry YouTube. 
In fact, there's a cool challenge on this. So scroll down, scroll, scroll, scroll down and see what we've got in store for you. Okay, so I hope you know what you need to do. By now, you should have chosen a couple of recipes to cook for dinner tonight from my fabulous book. Now, you don't have to cook a dessert every night, but if you want to, as tonight you're doing the fancy table setting, tonight might be a good idea to do so. For the new to you challenge, don't worry, if you don't have time to go to the store, I can almost guarantee there'd be something in your cupboards that's still new to you. So if you need to, improvise. I will be in the blue box at 10 a.m. today and again at 1 p.m. So come on with any questions and I'll be there ready and waiting. Remember, this week is all about having fun and letting me see what you guys have been up to so we can all learn from each other together. A big thank you to our fabulous sponsors, Bosch, 5 Plus A Day and Potatoes New Zealand.